Hello, my name is Louise and today I'm filming my 15th eyeshadow roulette. It hasn't been the most successful roulette because I realized that I've used most shades only twice but one shade four times and I've even repeated looks which I tend not to do. So that was a bit of a surprise as I was going through the colors before filming. But yeah, you know, I like the colors. Most of the colors were pretty muted. There was only actually one really bright color, which is a really pretty color. But I think it kind of affected my motivation to use my roulette shades, which is unfortunate. But, you know, I have used them. I have reached my goal for every shade, so that's good. And without further ado, let's just go through them. The first shade randomized was from the Morphe 9A Always Golden palette, and it was the color Aware, which is this one. It's like a warm brown, this one. I would describe it as having a slightly yellow undertone. It was a pretty color, it was easy to use, it blended well. This is the color that I used four times, and I was pretty surprised that I used it that often because I was like, that's a boring color. But yeah, you know, it's a nice, all over the lid shade it was a good transition shade yeah overall i mean i would use it again and be pleased with it the second shade was the one i was the most excited about and it was from the sleek acid palette and it was this gorgeous bright neon green so pretty <clears throat> swatches horribly mm -hmm. that one this is a really pretty color like i said it swatches horribly you really have to build it up preferably with a sticky base but in contrast to the Body Shop shade from last week, I still really like this color and I feel like it has a good place in my collection. So, she's staying. Mm -hmm. I used this one twice. Pretty good, pretty nice, yeah, you know, but I love this color. This palette is just a bit, I guess, nostalgic for me as well. I think I used this one over groundwork at one point. I'm pretty sure it's so grungy and cool so mm -hmm. nice color again not the best quality i would not tell someone to go out and buy this palette for this shade but i still like it the third shade was from the bh cosmetics zodiac palette and it was the color under leo which is this one like a warm purple this one you know it's a, it's a good shade it's not the most exciting but it did its job a nice transitiony shade all over the lid shade I do enjoy these kinds of purples, but you know, it's fine. It was fine. It wasn't very exciting, but I like using it. I will use it again, and I used it twice. The fourth shade was from the Cosé Vise Richet palette, the glossy rich eyes in the burgundy iteration, and it was this really pretty metallic glossy brown this one this was a very nice shade very glossy like the name would suggest very metallic i enjoy this palette overall it's a very like neutral but with a twist because it's very glossy so yeah i used this one three times a nice shade a nice all over the lid shade and the fourth and final shade was from the colored rain queen of hearts palette and it was the color queen mother Ooh, this gorgeous metallic purple Oh my goodness, like, oof, yes, so pretty. I realize now that I don't think I used this one on its own. I think I only used it in combination with other shades, and that feels like a missed opportunity because, like, the base color is a brown, but then it's like a purple. <gasps> so pretty. I only used it twice, and now I'm looking at it, I'm like, why didn't I use it more? It's so pretty. Mm. So, these were the shades from last time. Again, a pretty cohesive palette, in my opinion at least. I wish, I wish I had used this one on its own once and this one on its own once, because I don't think I did that. But, you know, they're beautiful. I will use them again, so I don't feel like I'm running the risk of forgetting about these two shades because they're beautiful. Also, these three other shades are very useful, very nice neutrals for a more understated look. So now we've discussed the shades from last time. I honestly don't feel like any of them were a dud to me. Again, I would not recommend the Sleek Acid palette. I don't even think it's available anymore. The other four palettes I would definitely recommend. I have nothing else to say, so let's just insert the selfies from last time.
are the selfies from last time. Time to randomize new shades. And as you might know by now, that's my absolute favorite part. I have my trusty computer right here with a random number generator pulled up. So let's enter the number of shadows I have. And last week I was saying that I know I have a double of one of my singles and I was like, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. But since I decluttered one shade last week and I forgot to remove that one from my like list, I did that now. And then I figured that since I was changing the numbers a bit, I might as well just put the two singles that are the same under the same number. So I did that. And that means since I removed one and then put two in the same, the numbers really didn't change that much, strangely enough. So I have 56 shades in singles and 325 shades in palettes, which gives me 381 shades. Okay, due to lighting issues, you see the sun is there. So I have to shift into the side. That's why I have changed the view a little bit, but hopefully that's okay. There's like a shoe there. So I have 56 shades in singles, 225 in palettes. That I still cannot believe that I counted so wrongly. Gives me like last time, 381 shades. So I will input this into the random number generator. And now it's time to generate. Okie doke, so 66. Okay, it's this Dior palette and it's called De Couleur. 223, I have no idea what it says. I think it says Dior Craze. Ooh, and it's the green shade. Let's randomize the next shade. 182, okay, so it's from the Colored Rain palette. It's the color Royal Highness. Very pretty. Let's randomize the third shade. 147. Oh my god. If you've watched my roulettes, you know that I missed the yellow once. It's time for her to come back. Oh, that was nice. I'm happy. Rewatching this, I feel so sorry for myself. Yes. I a little. Mm, mm, yes. So the fourth shade. 102. Oh, okay. It's from the Urban Decay Naked 3. It's the color Black Heart. Let's see what the last shade will be. 358. Oh, yay. Okay. It's from this palette. It's a Shiseido palette. Okay, I'm not sure what the name is, but I Color Bar, Color Cocktail, and it's the color Parfait Amour. Parfait Amour is this shimmery purple. That's nice. Yes. Okay, so fun, super fun. <sighs> Hello. So yesterday I filmed my 15th eyeshadow roulette. All well, all good. I had removed my decluttered body shop color from my collection. And I had also made my two buxom no faux posts into one post. And I had recounted and I was so pleased. I was like, oh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect anything. Apparently my brain has been working with this all night because when I woke up this morning, my brain was like, Louise, you removed one color and you made one post of two. So you have two fewer shades in your singles than before. Obviously that is going to affect your numbers. So yeah, part of me was like, oh, well, whatever. But the righteous part of me is like, no. You have to do this right. Okie dokes. My plan is just to go through and, I mean, since I have the numbers randomized, I just have to shift a little bit. So let's just start from the top. The first number I randomized was number 66. And number 66 is therefore, okay. Okay, it's from the Sleek Acid palette and it's the white shade. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can make a swatch show up. Oh no. Oh, no. Trust me. You can kind of tell. It's like a variation of pale there. Okay, so it's the white shade. I need a pencil. I need a pencil. Okay, so that was number 66. The next shade was number 147. And that was the next fire palette. I'm a suit. I honestly think it'll be the same palette. <laughs> right, okay, it's so it is from 
this thing again. This happened yesterday as well. I should have been more prepared. But anyway, so it's from the NYX Fire palette. <laughs> and it's, I've called it a red brown. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> so disappointed. So it's that one. Oh, no, sorry. That one. Okay. Oh, well, you know, it's a good, I mean, okay. I'm not going to sound too disappointed because I know it's a really nice shade, but you know, I had the yellow. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's a ready brown. Then it was the Urban Decay Naked 3, number 102. So it's, oh, okay. It's from the BH Cosmetics Shattuck Soul Palette. It's the Beige Shimmer. Okay. This palette beige shimmer that one. Oh, this one is pretty i know it's a really pretty like highlighty shade okay 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 that's nice mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fine and then it was oh crap i skipped over the queen of hearts palette so let's go to that one that was number 182. god this is like the wrong order and everything i do apologize okay well this one at least is from the same palette so it's the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, and it's the color E182 Princess. Okay, well, in comparison, I had Royal Highness, and now it's Princess. Okay, Princess is a very useful shade, but it's not as, you know, fun. It's Metallic shimmer is always fun. Mattes, not so much. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, okay, okay, fine. It's fine, it's fine. And then the final shade is 358. That's from the same palette, from the Shiseido Eye Color Bar Cooler or whatever. Um, and it's the color Cassis. Ooh, but that is a pretty color. So it's that one. That's pretty. Okay, okay, so. Ooh, ooh. Mm, it's a really pretty shimmery, red maybe leaning slightly pink okay so that means that these two palettes will not be joining us for this roulette and instead these two will join the party so let's just go through the new corresponding shades to the numbers randomized yesterday and not in the order in which they were randomized because i screwed up so anyway first we have from the sleek acid palette the white shade Trust me, it is there. Then we have from the NYX In Your Element Fire palette, the Ready Brown shade. From the BH Cosmetics and Shattuck Soul palette, we have this beige shimmer. The Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, the color Princess. And finally, we have from Shiseido, the Eye Color Bar color Cassis. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful shades. They're extremely neutral, a warm neutral, except for the white, which I don't think is any color, but yeah. I have no idea how I'm gonna use this white shade. Maybe I'll use it to like make some of the other colors less pigmented or less bright. I, I, don't, I, I don't know, but that's, that's definitely a challenge. Um, yeah, so, okay. So this is the color palette for the next two weeks. Whatever you saw previously in this video was wrong. This is it. My brain can rest easy. It did not sit well with me knowing that I had done wrong. I just, ooh, it irked me, you know? I was like, ah, so. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I have rice in the rice cooker. I will go prepare some dinner for myself. Just, you know? Yeah, I have nothing else to say. <gasps> But actually, I will say this. I kind of got to do my favorite part, the randomization twice, except that I didn't have to do the actual randomization again because the numbers were already randomized. But yeah, it was win, you know, woo. -hoo! So anyway, so these are the colors. The main loss, I guess, is the yellow shade from the NYX Fire palette, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. These are really pretty colors. So yeah. Okay. Yes. So well, anyway. Stay safe, wash your hands, get vaccinated, and I will see you in two weeks, counting from today. Okay, well, um, right, dinner. <laughs>